Welcome to my channel. This is Merlinda Kasapaw, your happy gardener living in the countryside of Australia. It's getting cold here. It's winter is just around the corner. But there's a blessing in disguise in this cold weather. It's time for my Christmas cactus to bloom like crazy. Look at these beautiful flowers. They are blooming and adds color to my garden. Normally, during winter time, there's not enough flowers in my garden. Good that I have this Christmas cactus and it's time for them to bloom. So in this episode, I'm gonna share my experiences about Christmas cactus. How to make them bloom like this and where to plant them, how to repot and everything I know about Christmas cactus. Hope you learned something and you enjoy this video. Let's have a look of my Christmas cactus. Now let us talk about potting Christmas cactus. When selecting a pot for Christmas cactus, be sure to choose one that has a drainage hole in the bottom. It, this helps to keep the soil from getting too wet. Then Christmas cactus grow well in the most potting mixes that are formulated for succulents. The important thing is that your potting soil drains well. The next is where to put a Christmas cactus. Plants should be kept in bright indirect light. An east facing window or a bright bathroom is ideal. Too much direct sunlight can bleach the sensitive leaves. So a daytime temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit and an evening temperature of 60 to 65 Fahrenheit is very good for the plant. Christmas cactus prepare a more humid environment which makes a bright bathroom or a kitchen a good spot to keep them. In the summer, Christmas cactus can be placed in a shady spot in the garden or in unheated ports until temperature get below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep them out of direct outdoor sunlight. How to care for Christmas cactus? Plant to water every two to three weeks, but only water when the top one third of the soil peels dry to the touch. For example, if the plant is in six inches of soil, water when the top two inches feel dry. When the soil is sufficiently dry, soak the soil until water runs through the pot drainage holes. Place a tray under, underneath the pot to catch the water. After 10 to 15 minutes, discard any excess water in the tray so that the pot doesn't sit on the, in the water. It is especially important to water well while the plant is flowering. From spring through early fall, feed every two, two weeks with a balanced houseplant fertilizer and then that makes the cactus very healthy. Prune plants in late spring to encourage branching and more flowers. Simply cut off a few sections of its stem, the plant will branch more from the wound. If you wish, place the cut pieces in a lightly moist potting soil. They root easily after a few weeks and make for excellent Christmas presents. Now, how to get the Christmas cactus to bloom? The blooms of Christmas cactus and its relatives are triggered by the cooler temperature and longer nights of fall. The three main types of holiday cactus generally, generally bloom according to this schedule. The Thanksgiving cactus are the earliest and the longest bloomers. The Christmas cactus tend to bloom from early winter to mid-winter and the Easter cactus bloom from the late winter to mid-spring. 
If your cactus is not blooming, it might be receiving too much light or too high temperatures. Here are some tips to encourage your cactus to produce flowers. To trigger blooming, nights need to be at least 14 hours long and days between 8 to 10 hours for at least 6 weeks. If you have strong indoor lightning that's, that's on at night, you might need to cover your cactus or more, move it to an area that exposed to the natural light cycle. Flower buds form best when the plant is kept in the temperature between 50 and 60 degrees. Hope you learned something and add Christmas cactus in your garden. So this is my Christmas cactus. It's flowering and it gives me too much happiness. Look at those bright colors. For me, gardening should not be stressful. And Christmas cactus is a very tough plant. It's easy to look after and it gives you heaps of flowers. And it is my stress reliever. Once I see these flowers coming out in my garden, I feel so relaxed and happy. Look at my face, how happy I am to see this blooming Christmas cactus. It takes my problems away. It gives me too much joy. Dancing with joy. Christmas cactus comes in different colors. They, have, they come in red, pink, yellow, white, orange. They, they come also in blue and purple. Wish I could have all these colors in my garden. As of now, I only have four colors. The pink, red, white, and orange. Who knows, one day I can complete all the colors of this Christmas cactus in my garden. How I wish. After a couple of days, this is my Christmas cactus. It blooms like crazy. Look at those beautiful flowers. Mm. It gives me so much happiness. And I put this beautiful pot next to our kitchen window. Beautiful. By the way, thanks Thank you very much for being with me in this episode. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and ring the notification bell so you get updated of what's happening here in the countryside of Australia. This is your happy gardener, Merlin de Casapo. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you in the next vlog. Take care.